What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super specific video for you but if you're looking for a solution then you found what you're looking for. So basically if you're hosting a Counter-Strike Global Offensive server or something of the sorts and you have a fast DL server where people can go ahead and download maps from then you're probably used to the formats of BSP for the map, .nav for the navigation file and you can download a compressed BZ2 file that'll help players download it 15 times faster than just having a fast DL server on top of the normal server. Anyways, if you came looking for this video, then boy, this is the one for you. So having a look at this folder over here, I have multiple map files over here, as well as multiple nav files. Having a look at it, it's about 1.68 gigabytes with 52 items. In order to compress these for a fast DL server, you'd usually go through each one compressing them individually into the BZ2 format. Though in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can simply just double click on a script and it'll run through all of them. So before we get to the actual script, there's one thing that we need and that is 7-zip. Head across to the link in the description down below, which is the 7-zip download page and have a look for a standalone console version. And on the left, I'll go ahead and click download. Now, of course, this is a .7z file. It is a compressed archive. We'll need the actual 7-zip to go ahead and open it up. So if you haven't already got 7-zip installed, go ahead and download it from either here for the 64-bit version or here for the 32-bit version and install them. Then opening it up, we have this folder over here with the files inside of it. Now, because I have an x64 PC, this one over here is 32-bit. I'll open up x64, select these files, and I'll drag and drop them across into the folder that I'm going to compress files in. So I have all of my map files, and at the very bottom I have these. If I refresh, they should go to the top. There they are. What I'll do next is I'll go ahead and create a batch script. So I'll right click, a new, text document, and if we can see the full name, including .txt, then great. I'll call it compress.bat. As such, yes. And I'll click yes when prompted if I want to change the file format. Though if you don't see .txt after it, head across to the View tab and make sure you have file name extensions checked. Then I'll right click on it, edit, and it should open in Notepad. Though of course you can drag and drop it into Notepad or open it with Notepad++ instead. Then we'll be entering some commands from the description down below. So at echo, space off, new line, for, percentage, percentage, v, in, open close brackets, inverted commas inside of it, star dot nav, go to the end, space, do, open bracket, new line, new line, close bracket, and inside of here, I'll just put two spaces to make it nice and easy to read. Then I'll enter 7za or 7za.exe, which is the file that we have over here. Space, a, to add to archive, then two inverted commas once again, and inside of here, I'll enter percentage, percentage, v.bz2. Then space, double inverted commas, and I'll enter percentage percentage V once again as such. So I have 7ZA, A, inverted commas, percentage percentage V dot BZ2, which is the file that we're going to be putting it into and the actual file that we're putting into it. Then I'll go ahead and copy all of this and I'll paste it to the end over here as such and I'll change nav to BSP. So this first one will loop through all of the nav files in the directory and the second one will do the same for the BSP files. Then it'll take the name, which is percentage percentage v, add bz2 to the end of it, which will be the compressed file, and it'll add the actual file itself to the folder. So if I go ahead and save it, and double click on compress.bat, you can see it runs through incredibly quickly, and having a look on the list, it's already gone through most of them, and it should be done in a couple of seconds. It's currently on E, which is down here, FGHIJK, and you can see just how fast it's going through these. It's compressing 150 megs to 50 megs, 64 to 18, etc, etc. And it's giving us a huge file save. And it's giving us a huge space save. Then of course, you could go ahead and sort by type and take all of these BZ2 files onto your fast DL server. You could literally select them all, cut them and move them across. Though for now, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the BZ2 files because I'll be adding to the actual script that we just wrote. So currently this works as you expected. How exactly do we get it to delete the files once it's done? Well, inside of the brackets over here, we can simply add a new line, two spaces, del, space, inverted commas, percentage, percentage, v, close inverted commas, and we'll go ahead and copy this line and put it under the BSP section as well. Saving it, we'll double click on compress.bat, 
and this time as it runs through the files, it'll go ahead and delete them once it's done. As you can see, they're disappearing as it's going through the list. Then once it's reached at the end, the window will vanish as you expect and we're left with just a bunch of compressed BZ2 files. And these all take up 500 megs in total, leaving us with a one third of the size that we had originally. Opening up compress.bat, if you'd like the black window to stay open so you can read some stats, etc. afterwards, we can just add a new line and on the last line, we can literally type in pause, save it and close it so the next time we open it up, as soon as it's done going through those two loops, it'll say press any key to continue. But anyways, that's about it. It's a super simple video for you. And if you came looking for it, well, then here is your answer. This script will be in the description down below, though it may be slightly different depending if YouTube decides to change something. I know they don't allow bigger than and smaller than signs. I think it'll probably be fine. But of course, you can go ahead and download it from the other link from the other link in the description down below from my website if you'd like a direct download. Or of course, if you don't trust those, you can go ahead and type it out yourself. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.